I'm I'm all for the for the for the technical progress. Unfortunately, uh, many think that it substitutes, uh, you know, the inner life of of a human being. It not at all. If anything, it takes away it takes away a tremendous amount of time that you could have been filling in something. You're just putting out. You're putting out. You're putting out information, but you actually have not. I'm not experiencing anything on an emotional level. And it, at the end of the day, that's what we're left with. As we know from our lives, um, some of the most important moments, some of the most intimate moments in our lives, we don't talk because words fail us. But words cannot express certain deeper uh, emotions or more intimate, more subtle emotions and states of mind uh, that could only be expressed through sounds, through sounds of music, through silence, which is also part, very important part of music. And uh, the most important moments in life, we usually don't shout and we don't, uh, you know, uh, Try to, when we try to put in words certain emotions, we, uh, you know, it could be either vulgar or prim more primitive than it is, or sentimental, uh, and uh, we, we fail to deliver what we really are feeling inside. And that's where music comes in. Because there, you can establish a connection. And that's in a way, that's the language that uh, human beings tr try try to establish as Peranto, the language that goes through all the cultural barriers and all the different people could actually relate to. I mean, Symphony Orchestra is a, is extraordinary. Uh, a situation quite unique in our culture where you have a bunch of people, you know, up to a hundred people coming from completely different background from uh, completely different religious beliefs or no beliefs at all, completely different race, color of skin. Uh, some of them are good human beings, some of them pretty rotten human beings, some of them good family men, some of them are not good family men. Sometimes they don't even get along. Sometimes they don't want to talk to each other. They're sitting at the same stand of an orchestra. And yet, when the music starts, something quite miraculous happen because en masse and providing they're playing a great piece of music and the conductor is good who's leading them somewhere all of them together get to be elevated to a sphere and reach out with the help of the composer and the conductor and the audience which also gives an energy and concentration to the spheres where it's absolutely impossible for them to get to individually. So it's it's a communal mass experience. And once music stops, they're back to where they were before. <laughs> Maybe they've gotten through something that will make them eventually better. Maybe not. But those precious moments, that few minutes or an hour or whatever the, the piece, th that... Uh, communication with something much greater than we are, much deeper, much more intense than we would ever admit we are. Uh, that's what I live for. Because those moments make us really uh, a lot more special than we are just in everyday life. And uh, to prepare yourself for that, as an audience, all you need is to get into that room, a hall, concert hall, in th that situation, and hope that the performance will be of that specific quality. Because if you do experience it, even once, you will never forget it. I, I love uh, diversity. You know, I never understand people who say, oh, well, this is what I heard when I was growing up and, you know, and that's that's the only kind of music I want to hear. I said, well, okay, your mother's cooking will always be the best, the most comforting, but does it mean that you'll never taste Chinese, Italian, French, Indian, and so forth? That would be disaster. <laughs>